natural vegetation and wildlife. Our earth is unique as it has a green cover over it, which is called natural vegetation. The green cover is possible because of sunlight, water and soil available on earth. The plants produce their own food from sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. Sunlight and rainfall are the two vital factors which control the type of vegetation. Varying amount of sunlight and rainfall in different places of the world have given rise to different types of plants. Our biosphere has a great variety of living things, from microscopic bacteria to huge plants and animals. Scientists have identified about 1.7 million organisms. This great diversity of life is called biodiversity. To support life in different surroundings, nature has a system which ensures that living things get everything they need to survive from their surroundings. Let us see how these systems work. Ecosystem Living things need energy in the form of food. Animals like goats eat grass and in turn they are eaten by animals like tiger. When these plants and animals die, microorganisms feed on their remains. The broken down remains release materials back to the environment for reuse. Thus, a life-supporting unit in nature where living things are dependent on each other and on the environment is called ecosystem. There are many types of ecosystems. The ecosystem of a desert is called desert ecosystem, whereas a region where the main vegetation is grass is called grassland ecosystem. Each ecosystem supports certain types of organisms. For example, grasslands of Africa support grass-eating animals like zebras. Animals like lions which eat these animals are also found there. Forests An area where trees are dominant vegetation is called a forest. Apart from trees, other kinds of plants such as creepers, climbers, herbs, shrubs and bushes also grow in forests. Usually, forests are found in regions where annual rainfall is fairly high and summer temperatures are above 10 degrees centigrade. Forests can be classified into these categories. Tropical evergreen forests. They are found in regions having hot and humid climate, which helps in the thick growth of vegetation. These forests consist of tall trees with broad leaves. The branches of the trees are so intermingled that they form a thick canopy at the top. Different species are all intermixed, which make commercial exploitation of these forests very difficult. These forests consist of hardwood trees like ebony, mahogany, etc. They are valuable as their wood is very good for making furniture. The main regions that have such forests are the Zaire Basin in Africa, the Amazon Basin in the South America and the islands of Southeast Asian countries, tropical deciduous forests. These are the forests of the region having moderate temperature and rainfall. The rainfall is less than in evergreen regions, but the temperature remains high. To conserve water, the trees shed their leaves. They are found in monsoon regions of Asia, in Central America and Northern Australia. These forests are not very dense and trees are of medium height. These forests consist of trees with high commercial value. Teak, deodar, bamboo, rosewood and eucalyptus are important commercial timbers. Wildlife is not very rich but elephants, tigers, leopards and rhinoceros inhabit these forests. Temperate evergreen forests. These forests are found in warm temperate areas. They have mixed varieties of trees. The plains have mixed deciduous and coniferous vegetation, while the highlands only 
have softwood coniferous trees. The timber in this area is known for its quality. Important species of trees are pine, oak, eucalyptus, bamboo and mulberry trees. Inhabitants of these regions rear cattle, pigs and sheep. These animals provide meat, wool, etc. The main areas are the southeastern USA, southern China and southeastern Brazil. Temperate deciduous forests. These are the regions having moderate temperature and rainfall. When it gets cold in autumn, these trees shed their leaves. In USA, the season when these trees shed their leaves is called fall. Common trees are maple, walnut, birch and chestnut. The wildlife consists of deer, foxes and wolves, etc. The areas covered by such forests are northeastern USA, northeastern China, Japan, southern Chile and New Zealand. Mediterranean forests This type of vegetation is found largely in the areas around Mediterranean Sea. This region experiences winter rainfall and summers are dry. Plant growth largely takes place in winter. While plants are to be protected from the severity of heat during summer. The trees have small leaves and are widely spaced. They have deep roots, thick barks and waxy leaves. The vegetation include trees like cork, oak, pine, olive and aromatic plants like lavender and myrtle. Grapes are grown in this region and fruit cultivation is carried out in large scale here. Main fruit trees are grapes, plums, peaches, apricot, cherries, almonds, etc. Coniferous forests These forests are found in the regions where winters are very cold and severe and summers are warm and of short duration. This climate controls the growth of plant life. The trees are of evergreen type with small needle type leaves. The trees are tall and straight with soft wood and light weight. The wood has great demand in paper making, newsprint and matches. The important trees include pine, spruce, larch, fir, cedar and hemlock. Most of the animals found here have fur on their bodies that protect them from cold. They include polar bear, fox, mink, sable, caribou, etc. Tropical grasslands These grasslands are called savanna and they occur on both sides of the equator, especially in Africa, where rainfall is moderate. These tropical and subtropical regions have a rainy season in which grasses grow followed by a long dry period. Such grasslands are found in the South America, Central Africa, South Asia and Northern Australia. They are known as campos in Brazil. The region is popular for safaris or trips to see wild animals. Grasslands are also home to flightless birds like the ostrich of Africa the Rhea of South America and the Emu of Australia. The African grasslands support wide variety of animals like giraffes, leopards, elephants, rhinoceroses, lions, etc. Temperate grasslands Grasslands are found in the temperate region also. They are found mostly in the interiors of the continent. In most of the continents, they have specific names such as prairies in the North America, pampas in the South America, steepies in Central Europe, wells in South Africa and downs in Australia. Wheat and grains are grown on large farms in these regions. As these grasslands are colder and drier, the grasses here are shorter and less dense.
than those of the tropical grasslands. Trees are almost absent. Wild buffaloes and bisons are common in North America. Desert vegetation. A large area that supports only sparse vegetation because of extreme dryness or extreme cold is called a desert. Consequently, deserts are of two types. Hot deserts, cold deserts. Hot deserts. Deserts which receive very little rainfall and have high average temperature are called hot deserts. Therefore, the vegetation cover is scarce and cacti thrive best. In the oasis, date palms and thorny bushes grow. They have long roots, thorny surface and wax-coated leaves. They belong to xerophytic variety of plants. Camel is an important animal which exhibits good adaptation to environment as it can survive without food and water for a longer period of time. Cold deserts. Deserts that have low average temperature are called cold deserts. They are found on higher latitudes and on high mountains. Not many plants can grow here because of the cold. Soil cover is thin, therefore plants cannot take root. Mosses, lichens and some dwarf varieties of shrubs are found here. Trees normally do not grow here. Such treeless land found in a very cold region is called tundra. It is found in the northern parts of Europe, Asia and importance of forests. Living beings cannot survive without forests as they are the habitat of various plants and animals. Not only we depend on them for food, but we also get wood, medicinal plants, fruits, etc. from forests. We use grasslands as grazing grounds for our animals and for growing crops. Wildlife has an added advantage as it attracts tourism, which helps in the economic growth of the region. Over the years, unfortunately, we have hunted animals for meat, tusks, horns and skin. For developing infrastructure, we have cleared forests and grasslands. As a result, many types of plants and animals have vanished or we can say that they have become extinct. Many others are on the verge of extinction. This harm to plants and animals in an ecosystem can be disastrous. For example, if lions are killed, there will not be any animal to kill grass-eating animals. As a result, their population will increase and they will eat up all the vegetation, turning the land into a desert. Clearing of vegetation also leads to global warming, which reduces rainfall and increases soil erosion. It is to our own advantage that we become aware of the dangers involved in reckless killing of animals and plants. Efforts are being made the world over to protect them. Trivia Peninsular Malaysia has about 125 acres of tropical forests and in these forests more tree species are found than in the entire North America. Trivia A study has shown that there are possibly 30 million species of insects dwelling in the canopies of tropical forests. Trivia The trees of a tropical rainforest are so densely packed that rain falling on the canopy can take as long as 10 minutes to reach the ground. Trivia The facts about a few coniferous trees is as follows. The white powder from the aspen tree can be used as a deodorant. The large tree is resistant to fire. Giant sequa trees are one of the longest living trees on earth. They are more than 3,000 years old and still growing.